How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. It's been quite a while since my last video. Life has been uh, pretty insane, <laughs> to say the least. So, um, yeah, I'm back. Uh, let's jump into making some content and stuff. And I was, I had a really hard time. I was like, what should we make the first video coming back into making content about? And I decided to keep it safe to do something. I was like, okay, I know I can for sure make a useful video about doing some overnight flipping. So let's continue the overnight flipping series of videos that I was working on previously uh, with a new one today. So in this one, I'm going to show you some new items that you guys can make some easy overnight money. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. To go along with today's video and pretty much any flipping stuff you would like to check out, you can look in our in our description down below for our Discord server. We have about 13,000 members in there, so it's a pretty big server. Uh, we focus mainly on flipping. We are the largest RuneScape flipping server, so um, yeah, come join us. We have all these open flipping sections here. You can also be a Patreon member and get even more stuff, as you can see here. But the main thing to go along with today's video, though, is going to be in the flipping school. So you can see right here, these right here are the ones that are released currently. We have a lot more coming up, though. Uh, but look at overnight flipping and if you look at overnight flipping you can just look at a, a much more in-depth overview of how overnight flipping works so if you have any more questions after you watch this video you can put in the comments below your questions and you can also just go and check this out and then look at like the basic strategy and stuff like that to learn more about doing overnight flipping Okay, so hopping on in here, I'm gonna give you guys a brief explanation of how you do overnight flipping. And then like I said before, you can go on our Discord and go a little bit more in depth with it. But the concept of it and the basic strategy is not really that in depth. All you're gonna be doing is before you go to bed or before you go to work or maybe like in the morning because you know you're not gonna be back until nighttime. At some point where you think there's going to be a lot of time be before you come back to RuneScape, that is basically what overnight flipping is. It doesn't have to be literal really overnight, but overnight does work really well and that is typically when people will do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna put in some buy offers for items uh, at that time. And then when you come back to the game, you will be collecting those items and then reselling them for more for profit. So the way that you're gonna be finding the prices of the items and everything, uh, just go ahead and check out on our Discord for Flipping School and it's much it's much easier explained in there for me to not make this video an hour long. Um, but it just basically, you're gonna be doing some basic price checks or using our Flipping server to find the prices as they are posted all the time um, but finding the prices is really not that difficult also um, due to the fact that you will be kind of doing back and forth where you're like okay before I go to bed I'm gonna buy these items and then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna, so before I go to bed I'm gonna put in my buy offers when I come back in the morning, I'm going to be flipping them into sell offers and then you'll come back and put them into buy offers again. You can just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over and you will pretty much know what the prices are because they won't fluctuate too much unless there's like a really big thing happening to the item. So they will probably be something around the same price as you've been flipping them for. So that's another way to kind of keep track of the prices too without having to go and reprice check everything. But let me show you what the items are going to be talking about today. Obviously, I have already made overnight flipping uh, uh, videos for, for a bunch of different items. So if you want even more info without our, our Discord, you can also watch those videos too um, for all the different overnight ones. And I definitely recommend that you do try to uh, keep trying new items. Uh, maybe one of the videos worked better than another video for you. That's totally fine. Then do that one. Uh, also, if you're a person that has multiple accounts, uh, you can just use a new video for each account. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and look at this one. So if you look at my grand exchange here, uh, the ones we're going to be talking about today is going to be Virtus items and Torva items. So it's overall, overall what we're going to be doing is Nex gear. So that was kind of the theme of today because Nex gear is really good. Uh, it's really good for um, people who are very patient or if you're doing overnights because they do tend to take a little bit longer to buy and sell. Uh, ignore the prices for a minute because that's not the buy, that's not like a real buy price. I put those numbers in there for a reason. It's going to be to show you guys uh, like just very, like very like visually how this works. Um, so don't try to buy Torva plate for 20 million it's not gonna work um but the reason why there's no pernix in here is just because uh virtus and torva just overall are better than pernix right now uh, but maybe in the future uh if people are jumping back into range because right now people are really heavy into uh virtus uh, or just mage in general um so people are like trying to scoop up all the mage gear and stuff like that so the so the margins on these are a little bit better than the pernix gear uh when range was going crazy then pernix was better so it just goes back and forth depending on what people want the torva is, is good for obvious reasons you know for trim master work and stuff like that um so 
what the what I have here is I've got a number in for how many you can buy for two buy limits. So let me just kind of explain how this works though. So if you're going to go to bed, uh, most people are going to sleep somewhere between eight or nine hours, I would expect, <laughs> unless you just unfortunately are not going to be getting a full night's sleep, then maybe you're getting six or seven hours. But these these numbers right here on the screen are going to be assuming that someone is going to be gone for basically two buy limits and it's four hours for each buy limit. Uh, and then the number that you can buy per limit is going to be uh, for Torva plate legs, it's two. You can also uh, like when you type in uh, Torva plate legs, for example, it'll show you right on the right on RuneScape. It'll show you buy limit per, per four hours is two. So if I'm gonna be gone for a good snooze of eight hours, then I can assume I'm gonna be able to buy two buy limits, which is four of them. Um, and then this is how much potential profit that you can expect to make in four items. So two buy limits. And what that is from is it's literally from, I've actually got it all written down in our Patreon sections of the Discord, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull them up here so you can see them. Um, right here, this right here is the average margin for Torva and the amount of time you should wait to update them if you're going to be uh, like actively flipping them and the amount to update by if you're actively flipping them. And right here is the buy limit per four hours. Uh, the risk right here is going to be if you're actively flipping them, which means you're when I say active, I mean like you're you're at the computer, you're not leaving your computer, you're not you're not going to bed, you're not going to work or whatever. Um, overnight flip risk, which is the kind of videos I'm showing you right now. Um, this is for well, obviously the risk the risk you might lose money on overnight. So the higher the risk, the more risky they are. But I will tell you that anything in the low medium range or medium is is really not that big of a deal. Um, the chances of you losing money is pretty slim honestly unless there's like a big change where all of a sudden Torva plate body drops by 10 million but that's that doesn't usually happen um Coming over here though, the average margin is what you really want to look at. Um, by the way, this right here is literally a little snippet of our gigantic flipping sheet in the Patreon sections. Um, all of this information is available for every single item that we flip in RuneScape in the in the Discord. So this is what literally what it looks like. Um, so going by this row though, you can see how I'm getting these numbers here. So Torva plate legs has an average margin of two to five million per item. So if you're going to flip four of them, then your potential profit overnight is 20 million, which is why I put 20 million there. That way it's really easy for you to visualize how much you can make in one overnight flip of this item. Uh, and then Torva plate, plate body is about the same thing, two to five million on the average margin. Um, and then Torva helm, uh, you're looking at 1.5 to 3 million. So we've got six mil uh, for a total of, for all these right here. Actually, I think I might have done that one incorrectly. <laughs> yes, I think I did. So the potential is, yeah, 3 million. Whoops. Let me go ahead and fix that there. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, there we go. So it actually should have been looking like that, not the other way around. So the rest of them are all accurate though. Uh, you're looking at a potential three million each on the boots, three million each on the gloves, two million each on these robe tops, two million each on the robe bottoms, and three million each on the Virtus boots. So there is something I wanna say though, um, and I'm sure a couple of you have already noticed this, is that I am using the top end of the average margin here in order to see these uh, numbers here. And there's a, there's a couple different reasons for that. Um, the first one is, is that in a, in like a best case scenario for that item overnight, that is what you potentially could get. So when I'm looking at like, you know, the total here of how much you could potentially make in an overnight flip, I want to show you guys like what you could be, what you could make. Like you definitely, you definitely could perfectly flip all eight slots in one night. Um, chances are that's not going to happen. I'm just going to be real with you that you're probably not going to hit every single one of these items perfectly every single night. But in order for, but the, I would definitely say it's, it's totally possible for you to hit half of them, three quarters of them, maybe all but one, maybe you'll get all of them. Um, the chances of you hitting the top end of the margin each night uh, really just depends on how good you are at finding those items margin and then also just how volatile was that item at that night so for example if if you're if you're looking at torva plate body and as you can see the mid price right here is like 197 um i'm this is totally a hypothetical number here on so don't go buy anything let's say you put in a buy offer and you bought them for like for 200 million each and then in the morning you tried selling it for 205 didn't work you're like oh shoot maybe 204 uh, maybe that didn't work then 203 202 um, Okay, they, they finally sell for like 201 
and you're like, oh man, I only made 1 million each of my Torva play buys overnight. That's not very good. But what that means is potentially you probably should have tried at mid. So maybe you maybe you should have been like 197, 400K. And then if you would have done that, then selling them at 201 million, you'd be pretty close to that 5 million mark. You might, you might, you know, you'd be like really, really close to it. Um, so sometimes it's just a little bit of a patience thing or something like that. So the chances of you hitting all these perfect numbers here, like the perfect margins at the at the top, is really going to come with time. So just be patient. Um, I would say if you were doing like half of each one of these margins every night you are still with you are still well within the average margin you are doing a good job so just improve that over time so don't don't get all frustrated if you don't get everything perfect in one night or let's say something doesn't buy overnight that's all very normal it's all very normal just improve as you go um, the other thing about this too, the second reason why I want to use the top ends here is because um, we are talking about a very long period of time to buy these. So on our spreadsheet, when it comes to the average margin, um, this average margin is, is really more for like the active flipping numbers. So actively flipping these, you might get 1.5 to 3 million. We're talking about waiting all night long to get these buys. So we can afford to be much more patient. Now you still need to get them bought with Within four hours, obviously. So don't try to like, you know, go too slow. Um, but if you were like actively flipping, you'd 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 probably you'd probably be trying to get these to buy within 45 or 60 minutes. Now we're trying to get them to buy within four hours, so we can try to you know just offer a little bit more competitively on that. And so that will also um, increase your chance of hitting the higher number. So the higher number is typically used when you're trying to aim for overnight flipping. I should definitely say that. So in the previous videos too, um, I have showed some stuff like looking at graphs and stuff and things like that. Um, because something you can do too is you can try to like kind of go with the movement of the graphs and then know um, whether or not you should be out you should be offering a lot less than like what the current going rate is like let's say for example you looked in our discord and you saw that people were paying market price right now this average price on the Torva plate body um, but looking at the graphs you see that Torva is currently going down and that means uh, overnight maybe you will try to be more competitive and if this was if this is what everybody's buying it for right now maybe you try buying it for like 195 or 194. Um, so that that's something else too is like looking at the graphs you guys can see more information about that in our previous overnight flipping videos I don't want to show that again because it's kind of redundant um, but that is something else to keep in mind. So going by everything here, if you were to get top margins in one night, you're looking at 86 million gold profit. Um, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, that is that is literally just adding up everything right here. If you were to do this um, every single night for a month and get everything absolutely perfect, which I'm just going to go ahead and say is pretty much impossible, um, then you would be looking at two point like almost 2.6 billion profit by only flipping these items right here, only flipping Torva and Virtus overnight. That's not doing any day time flipping um, but here let me show you something that that is pretty exciting though this right now this number right here I'm yeah, not very realistic for you to expect to hit this every single night for an entire month I'm not I'm not even gonna try to say that that's realistic but let's say you did get like three quarters of this um, each each month and that is that is something much more realistic especially after you've had some practice you'd be looking at something like this 1935 million per month that you could be making by only doing this overnight flipping. And if you want something even more realistic, because maybe you're, you're maybe you're one of those people that's like, ah, I'm not very good at flipping. Uh, I'm not even going to be able to hit 75%. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I, I hear you. I, I understand there's people that are, you know, maybe maybe today is the first time you're ever going to flip in RuneScape. That's fine. Let's look at what it looks like if you were just doing half of this, like <laughs> you can definitely hit half of this. That is still almost 1.3 billion profit per month by just doing this eight slot technique right here that I'm showing you. So if you then if you then do this during the day also, so you've got your overnight flip right here. Let's say in the morning you wake up, you sell all these off, and then you're gonna do it again because you're gonna go to school or you're gonna go to work or whatever. You can multiply this times two because the margins are gonna be about the same. And you're right back, you're right back at 2.6 billion per, per month. So even if you are getting 
not even the best luck, like like below average luck. If you were doing this day and night, you could still expect to get somewhere between 2.5, 2.6 billion per month. Um, but yeah, that's that's like roughly 86 million gold per night is what you could be doing perfectly, which is about 43 million gold per night if things are not going your way. And I mean, even even if you looked at this in a way of taking even less lucky, you can still clear like over a billion gold per night. I'm sorry, a billion billion gold per month. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A billion gold per month by just doing super basic items like these right here. Um, and the reason why I want to show you that is just because um, that is how much you could be adding into your monthly profits by just adding in some overnight flipping. Uh, a lot of people tell me they're like, oh, I just I really just enjoy playing RuneScape. Um, I flip every once in a while because I don't have a lot of time and I don't really want to stand at the Grand Exchange flipping. I'd rather be playing the game. That's 100 percent understandable. And that is like, yeah, that totally makes sense. I get you. Um, well, this right here lets you do both. If you do overnight flipping, um, it lets you do both because now you're not taking up your RuneScape playing time. You are literally just using the time that you are not playing the game to make more money. Um, anyway, guys, I really hope this video helped you out. Um, definitely check out the other overnight flipping videos and look in our flipping school in the discord down below. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, then be sure to hit the comments down below. If you guys like to support the channel, um, you can become a Patreon member today uh, by looking at the description down below and clicking on the Patreon. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.